Gamers, we are back with another one. This time we got all different sieves because we got top of the crop diamond players. And they're here to show us how to play Archipelago. Is this going to be another wonder victory with no one doing anything? Or is this going to be, you know, a little back and forth? We're about to find out. Yeah, diamond is just crop. Top of the crop is conquer. Crop is just diamond, all right? Let's get into it. Over here, the English gamer, not a corner boy, is Strong Jaw Ale. Let's look at their spawns immediately. He's got a decent spawn. He's got a decent amount of wood. Not the most, but he's got a pretty good amount. Like, that's a, that's a solid spawn right there. Uh, on this side, we got Mr. Jace, who is the highest rated gamer in this lobby. And he also got a decent amount of wood, actually. A lot of wood. He got a lot of wood. So good spawn. And a corner spawn. So that's very nice. In the orange, we got Lancer. The orange French gamer. Good amount of wood. Very nice. Ooh. We got Weasel, the red Mongol. And, uh... Not a lot of wood. So he's going to need to go to the middle. Yeah, he's going to need to go to the middle. Jibbers, the blue up acid. He's got a decent amount. Yeah, pretty, pretty good amount. Uh, in the green, we got Splinter, the green HRE. Uh, has a pretty interesting spawn. Uh... Kind of has like back fishes, which is nice. Valentor, the purple Chinese gamer. Good amount of wood. Very nice. And then, obviously, uh, the last but not least, Liquid Plasma. Plasma. The yellow Otoman. Now, interesting thing. The sacred size is in the bottom right. Or just bottom. And there's a relic too. And HRE is right next to it, so... You can't really ask for a better spawn unless you're red then you can definitely ask for a better spawn because that spawn is pretty kick w but if i'm red and i recently played this map um if you see this spawn, you gotta go to the middle like you go ships and then you just make a transfer ship and you expand to the middle and you start chopping wood and i would probably as a mongol in this case, just go air slits and not even fight on water. Like, just get five docks, get air slits, and just go to the middle. This is the first time we have Rus and HRE, by the way. So, we've had other sieves so far with the gold and platinum, but we have not had Rus and HRE. Um, HRE is probably going to be, like, really good economically, but they do not have any unique stuff for their ships. They have fire stations, which is literally trash. Um... And I guess they got emergency repairs, right? So if it comes down to holding like a wonder, HRE is pretty good because you have Elsbach Palace that, you know, makes all your buildings take reduced damage. You got uh, repair ability, so that's nice. But other than that, they don't have anything unique on water. And then we got Rus that has the best fishing ships because they are they don't need to go back to, to deliver the stuff. And they can also... Um, they can also transform their ships, which is not as important in a free-for-all, I would say. But yeah, everyone's probably going to go one to two docks. I think probably, like, going one dock is safer. You can go two docks. Like, two docks is better if you don't get attacked, you know? Like, if purple now goes two docks and nobody attacks them, that's amazing. But if purple goes two docks and yellow goes one and attacks his fishy ships, then it's, like, it's not worth it. So what Teal is doing is... You know, it can work out, but it can also be a little bit of a gamble. And now we see... Yo! Strong... Uh, Mr. Jace is Omega aging up with the Golden Gate. And I'm assuming he's instantly going to transform and start beating his ass. And this is what I was talking about. This is like the worst case scenario. Why is he not transforming? Does he not want to transform? Huh? Oh, he doesn't have food. Lol. 
So this is like the worst case. It's exactly the situation I was just talking about. So Mr. J uh, Mr. Jace could have been already transformed and shooting at these, and then Teal has no eco, and this is just a shit situation for him, right? By the way, Golden Gate, uh, he'll be able to buy stone for gold uh, at a always standard rate. So Golden Gate on this map, I guess, is gonna be pretty nice. Yeah. Mine work. I would go chapel. I would probably chapel like right here and just get as much wood. Cause what, what does mine work give you? It gives you two unique upgrades, but like, are you really gonna be making spearmen, horsemen, and knights? You know, I don't know. No neutral market. There is one right here, right here, brother. And uh, teal. Now the thing is, pink is not in a really good spot. I like that tower. Pink is not in a really good spot because he did sacrifice economy to do this, but I, I feel like he could have done a lot more damage to Teal if his build was a little bit better. Let's check the uh, landmarks. Mongol obviously going with deer stones. Um, I'm not sure what he's going to do yet. French going with school of cavalry. A acid with uh, e uh, culture wing, sorry. He's on three docks already, so he's pumping. HRE, he's pumping over here. Imperial Academy for Zoom B. And then we got Sultan Hani Trade Network, which is obviously the better one on this map. Still no Abbey. Interesting. Fishing ships are going. He's not even bothering to put him in. Bro, put him. Put him in the dock! Why are you losing them? Oh la la. Put him in the dock! He lost like 10 fishing ships to this one galley. It's a little destruction. On this side, tensions are rising. Tensions are rising. No arrow slit upgrades. Wait, did he? He didn't get Ubu yet? Oh no. Okay, Sprinkle Chip comes out. Three docks for Roos. He's gonna start producing stuff too. Uh, there's this thing when you play this FFA, which is like, sometimes you hope someone doesn't attack you. Oh, his villagers are kind of going the wrong way. You hope someone doesn't attack you and you're like making units, but you don't want to attack them. But you're like, if they attack me, I want to have units. Because if you start fighting super early, uh, you know, obviously you lose out on eco. Oh, 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 oh. Transport ship for a prelate goes to the middle. Now, does green know about the island? Oh, no. Sacre bleu. He does not know that there's a relic and a sacred side here. And now green's getting attacked and green has no fucking ships. And he's even making more fishing ships. Bruh. Huh? There's literally no army. Very greedy from these guys. Look at purple. No fighting ships either. Yellow has some. But yellow, oh, he has like 15, 14, 15 fishing ships. Purple, 21, and now just started making units. Oh, no, no. And now French war cogs are coming in. A little known fact, actually. French Springle ships have plus one ranged armor compared to other Springle ships. You guys know that? It's true. So the funny part is all green's gold. Well, this one isn't, but they're reachable from the wa- And he's still making fishing ships! Bro! He knows you went there! Oh god. Oh god. I'm on 
<clears throat> Alright. Mongol over here fighting with the French. But... The French ain't gonna let him win. He's beating his ass right now. Mongol aged up. But aging up with no ships, there's not much point to it, brother. Because even if you upgrade the water ships, what are you upgrading when you got none? Oh, la, la. Oh, that's just... I mean, that's just getting sad, isn't it? Isn't it? If he just moves his... Okay, he's got two holes. So good for him. Pretty rough times for some of the players already. <clears throat> and blue is beating green's ass quite badly right now he's losing a lot of eco okay he's capturing a sacred site and he's going for that first and i mean all right he's capturing a sacred site cool but like what's the plan if he knew the sacred sacred site was here and then he's going for like a like a sacred site hold or something like sure but It just seemed like he was planning four steps ahead. And uh, that did not quite work out. And now, Pink is trying to land on Teal's base. Over here. He's literally building archer ranges and stables, but he's gonna get his villagers sniped very nice by Strong Jaw Ale beating his ass. And high trade house is cut. Oh, dude, he should have put that high trade house here. That would have been a thick high trade house. On the right side, Mongol keeps getting wrecked. He only just got stoned now. Is he gonna get a hit? No, dude. Orange Lancers got it locked down. On this side, not looking good for green once again. Not looking good at all. China massing the fleet. Yellow, I mean, he's also kind of massing, but he has a lot of weaker eco, I think, compared to um, compared to purple. So that's not gonna be too good for him. And then on the wall, ah, on this side. Uh oh, sacre bleu, that's gonna be a. Oh, that's premature explosion right there. Four demos? I feel like that should have been. Six shots, but he only got one connection. And red in a lot of trouble. He should like produce sprinkles or something. Oh, 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 galley asses are out. And this is the, by the way, let me remind you guys this is the only wood, <laughs> this is the only wood line that red has, so yeah. That's unfortunate. That is pretty, pretty unfortunate. Teal is the only one that hasn't aged up yet. What's his resource looking like? He needs gold to age up. And uh, yeah, red looks in a pretty bad spot. Green's getting dented in pretty heavily, but at least he's castle copium. Purple and yellow just having a stare contest, but... Again, this is one of those where they're having a stare contest, but eventually Purple's just gonna beat his ass. Purple can go Imperial if he just had more gold. So that's kind of how bad that is. More villagers are gonna go down. Looking pretty, pretty rough. The Knights are coming in hot. They got plus one ranged armor. And he's killing some villagers, but that's not... I mean, he's killing a lot of villagers, to be honest. But, not the biggest deal, like he's gonna kill some, alright, but it's like, what's the plan out there? There's White Tower. Okay, you need you need siege, he's gonna make some siege. The water battle is kind of even. Yo, a piece of with the 30 gift, 20, is that 30 or 20? 20 gifted subs, thank you so much, welcome everyone. Thank you, thank you. Just dropping them out of nowhere. God damn. God. Damn! Welcome everyone, thank you so much. Hope you guys enjoy your stay. If you didn't get the subs gifted, unlucky. I mean, 
it's not really unlucky. It's like 20 out of 1,000 people. I guess you're more lucky than unlucky if you got it. Thank you. Okay, English is going to stay alive for now. But he is getting pushed by Mr. Jace. Mr. Jace is trying really hard. He's landing over here. He's making more knights. He's making siege now. These guys are gonna get picked off. Orange? I mean, orange is kind of defeated red. Oh, I like that. Well do, well, do I like that actually? I'm not sure. Maybe in this situation I like that. So he went with Kaganat's Palace, which Stupa will give you stone forever, so you can go for wonder, right? And then you can make towers and shit. That was a miss. But maybe because he was in such a bad position, maybe doing Kaganet's Palace is better because at least he's gonna have some units. Let's see, Big Dick Pow. Big Dick Pow missed two times in a row. <laughs> it's gonna take like third of the health once it hits, guys. Any moment now. Check this out. Check this out. Any moment now. There it is. And by the way, yeah, no one's expanded to the middle. Oh, demo ships are going off. He has landed over here. There's a ram coming in hot. His tower's not even upgraded, kick W. Three, five, three. Network of castles pumping right now. English looking hot. Oh, 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 oh. Gets exploded on. And now there's action everywhere. Blue, he's doing the thing. He has killed green pretty much. And now he's saying, I'm going to attack someone else. Well, he's dead. Pink has busted through Teal's defense. He has busted through. The water is his. He's landing on land. And uh, he's watering on water. Blue is looking to go upwards. And if he goes upwards... Orange doesn't have too much, so he might actually get them today, but he's producing a lot of knights, so he might land. And that's actually not a bad strategy. You make 16 knights and you just land in someone's base and you just kill all their workers. What's up? Oh, and here we go. This is exactly what I said. Look at that. Look at that. And now purple, because he has boomed way more than yellow, is literally just going to obliterate his ass with bow chats and all the, all the ships. You can't let China next to you just boom, you know. Mongol never good on water anyway. Mongol is really good on water. If you actually make ships. If you not if you don't make ships then no ship is really good on water in that case. Uh yeah, piracy is really good. It gives you so much value. Spaskaya Tower is coming in Teal's base. Monka S right now. Another Mangonel is coming. Is this gonna go up though? Or is this gonna get cancelled? Another Mangonel is coming. Yellow is getting farmed. Bro, yellow's got so much wood over here. It's kind of cute. Pink and Teal are still fighting. He's trying so hard to get that landmark up, but the trebuchet comes out! If he cancels that, he gets jack shit resources back, by the way, because it's almost destroyed. So if he were to cancel, he's gonna get less than half back. But I think you just finish it, and then you just repair it. You just say, fuck it. I think you just go for it. Two feudal archers are coming in hot, and Spaskaya is about to finish, and Spaskaya got sprinkled and bombarded placement, by the way. Spaskaya is a chat landmark. Now you just go out and repair, and you make uh, Springles. Splinter has reached Imperial. 
with Ellis back. Okay, he's got army here. Here we go. He's gonna burn that thing alive. I think uh, I think he's gonna manage to hold. Strong Joe Ale. Oh, he's nowhere near Imperial, by the way. So he is gonna be struggling quite a bit. Bow chats on this side are absolutely demolishing yellow. And we're looking at a big fight on the right side. He needs to, uh, he's got so many knights. He's got like 30 something knights. He needs to land somewhere and just kill someone's economy. Like just choose the next uh, opponent, just beat their ass. And now blue is moving north, which is an interesting decision because he should just kill green or try to. Oh, he's trading? Oh, that's a kick W trade. Three gold? <laughs> he's getting three gold per trip. Let's go. So, oh, 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 here we go. Here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Orange a little bit AFK. Oh, God. Oh, my God. He got... He got demolished right now. Is he gonna get counter demolished? Or counter demolish? No. I mean, he gets a hit, but not really, right? And yellow, he's got palace guards in his base. Two of his landmarks got killed from the shore. Three of his landmarks got killed from the shore. And yellow, I mean, he's gonna be the next one to tap out, right? I don't see who else. Blue has. Uh, made two enemies now the question is is he going to be able to kill any of the players because now green is mad at him dude green is waiting green's about to beat his ass and now he's making orange mad too orange aged up with red palace over here okay Maybe he's gonna make a wonder later here. I mean, if you go for wonder, it's better to be in the corner, right? So, that's all right. Mr. J says, hey Beastie, we can trade with player dead. Yes. Only dead players, not alive. Oh, he found a sacred site. Oh, he found it because of fishing ships. He got the relic. Okay, so green is gonna get the sacred site, and I'm assuming attempt the sacred site win. I don't know if this is a full wall, by the way. I'm not sure that's a full wall. And now green is going for blue, but the funny part is, green was throwing like, yeah, fuck you. And I don't think he has enough. So I think he's actually gonna lose the, the battle here. Completely lose the battle. But listen. And that was half of Blue's uh, water army, by the way. That's not even his full army. That's half of it, and he lost. <laughs> Poor guy. Poor guy. The landmarks of the teal are going down. There's only White Tower remaining. He's not. He is not close to Imperial, I think. No, no, we're close to Imperial. And Pink is beating his ass. Now, Pink is gonna take some damage on Wa'a, but does it even matter? In the best position right now, for sure, China, I would say. Um, oh, he's got no wheelbarrow. Yeesh, that hurts. Oh, English is punching through, but... I mean, what is he punching, you know what I mean? He's punching himself at this point. That's just not gonna work. And I think T was the next one to go. And all of a sudden, we got three players eliminated. Just like that. In the other two of phase, we had like players alive for so long and now like sub 30, we're gonna have three players dead pretty quickly. The Conqueror one, I think, is going to be very, very aggro as well. Like, the Conqueror one that I played with, like, High Conquerors, or all the Conquerors, whatever. Um, 
was super aggressive. Like four people, three, four people died within 20, 30 minutes. It was super, super aggro. And even the ones that didn't die, they uh, she's trying to trade. See, okay, this is what we call optimistic trading right here. He is trying to trade where blue is, which is his mortal enemy. He tried to take the relic out of the uh, tower, and the guy died right outside of it. Is it worth to be aggressive if you're not being attacked? Well, that depends how you want to play it. Like, I think if you're the middle player, like the one in the middle, like blue, orange, purple, or... Uh, I mean, I guess green is also kind of in the middle, like it's not really in the corner. I think if you're in the corner, you can camp maybe, if you have a good spawn. But if you're one of the middle players, I would definitely say you want to be aggressive. But even a corner player is technically... I mean, he's literally between two players, right? So, I think that it's always better to create some room for yourself. So, like, purple killed yellow. So now he can go the other side. And then he's far from the other players. So there's less chance for him to get attacked. And by the way, strong joy will get eliminated. Um... Because another thing is you don't know what's happening on the map, right? Like, you don't know if someone's trading. You don't know if someone's got the middle. Like, these guys, if you look at their vision, nobody knows what's happening on the middle, right? So, in their eyes, they might think that green has the middle, right? So, that's maybe why purple is attacking green, right? Because he might think he has the middle, so it's like, oh, I gotta kill him. But my point is, if you are just sitting in your base, there's a high chance that someone on the other side of the map is trading. And if you just stay there, they're going to outboom you. But if you start killing people around you, then you can expand your economy to their islands. Because remember, the first thing that runs out here is not the gold, it's wood. So you kind of need to go on the other islands to get more wood. If you don't, you're, you're just going to lose. So... And also, the more you wait, right, the more you wait not attacking, uh, there's a higher chance that two players are going to attack you randomly. And green now is slowly losing the landmarks. Oh my god, blue is, co blue is cooking over here as well. Kick W. Emergency repair comes out. Pink is just re-booming right now. He's just chilling. He, oh, he has plenty of wood, actually. And the next player that looks like he's in a lot of trouble... Oh, oh, oh. Next player that looks like he's in a lot of trouble is definitely green. And it's actually very surprising that no one's attempted to go to the middle. I feel like Blue has done a lot of damage to his opponents, but he hasn't really, like, expanded his eco. And what I mean by that is, like, if you compare it to Orange, right? Orange is on two islands, he's getting this eco up, um, he's got his own island, he's got land army. Like, Blue just got massive fleet, but if, like, he could have taken the middle easily, right? I mean, he's in contact with the middle. So he could have taken the middle easily by now, or at least attempted to, right? Again, to expand his eco a little bit. But he hasn't done that. Same thing with Pink. Like, Pink has fought a lot, but now he's expanding his economy. And right now, he's not in the strongest position. But because he killed someone next to him, he's got their base now. Look at that. He's got a lot of wood lines. He's got gold access. He's got stone. Two golds, actually. So he's kind of chilling right now. China's in a good position because he has all this wood for himself. And now if he kills green, technically he's going to have that too. Oh la la, is he going to commit to this? I don't know bro, you're not really doing a lot of damage to that. On the top side we see blue and orange going at it again, but orange does not have a lot of ships. 
Louis maxed out. Lancer's maxed out. But what are you maxed out on? I don't. Where are his knights, by the way? Oh, right. Oh, he has knights right here. I don't know if he forgot them or what, but. Like, obviously, Blue's trying to kill you, right? You just load up all the knights and you drop it in his base. Imagine if you dropped 30 knights here. That's all dead. And Blue is then fudged completely. You should do that. But I think he forgot that they're there. Okay. Ooh! Yo, that was close. He almost lost all the knights in the, in the transport ship. Green Island is unlucky though? I don't know if I would call it unlucky. I think Green has a really good island. Like, yeah, it looks like a bad island now, but if he had a free relic, a free sacred site. If he put his fishing here and defended here, this is such an easy defense. It's such a closed off area. But... Yeah. And now, Blue is getting pushed back. By the way, what's on the guild? He's got 11,000 stone in guild hall. Yo, he's, this man does not pull out the resources from the guild hall. Demo ships are coming. Okay. A trade off. Bro, drop your knights. He forgot about knights. Drop your knights in his base. Oh, la, la. And green splinter about to get splintered. That is not looking good. He's gonna try wall a lot. Do a little wall a lot for us. Oh. Wall a no. Mm -mm, no, no, no. And I think he's going to be the next one to get eliminated, brother. Four down, four to go. And Orange still does not know he has Lancers right here. Oh, Lancers, Knights. Where are his other Knights? They're right here. Oh, he notices. Okay. I think Blue is dead next, by the way. I think Blue is Omega dead because you know what's going to happen now? Where do you think Purple's going to go next? Cake W. Where do you think these ships are going next? Yeah, green's out. And uh, if he drops into his main base right here, he's gonna mow down all the villagers and then the ships are gonna fall right after. And now all of a sudden, oops, sorry about that. Now all of a sudden, I think that pink, orange, and purple are all in pretty good position. I would even maybe put orange in the best position because of that juicy guild hall. Also, Rus, by the way, he has 23 uh, tickets in the Golden Gate that he can buy stone with. So he can actually go for a wonder as well. He just needs more gold, which... It's really weird that no one's went to the middle yet, by the way. It's really, really weird. Trade. Okay, Blue's gonna start trading immediately with the dead player, which is good. He recognizes immediately that... Oh, he died. I can just go for him now. Um, 13 gold. Where are these guys going? Uh, he should put it on, like, farthest dock post. He should actually trade from here. Make a dock here and trade all the way there. I mean, that's a good route and that's a safe route as well. He should 100% go for that. Thirteen gold is huge. He had four gold. No, oh, it was three gold actually. <laughs> he had three gold and now he has four gold, or now he has thirteen. And here we go. He does not know. He's making knights because I think he just saw the transport ships. But oh, they are elite lancers actually. 
Mike, he should have gone for camels. Camel riders, brother. Oh, la, la. And now this is a pretty rough one. Purple, where is he gonna go next? Pink is just chilling. Pink has got some relics. 46, uh, 50 idle for Abbasid, and all of a sudden, Abbasid's economy is down to shitter. And now, if you're orange, now you push water. But honestly, I don't know if he even needs to push water. Oh, he doesn't also have the upgrade for HP. I don't think he even needs to push water, just kill his landmarks. Oh, la la, no, no, you don't want to do that. Orange, wake up. Check orange guild hall. Oh, he, he, okay, he's juiced out. 13,000 stone, brothers. He's got another gold here. I don't know if he realizes. Because on the map, you can't actually see it. If you guys look on the map, you can't actually see that gold. So I hope he realizes he has a gold there. The trade is getting killed. And blue is in all sorts of trouble. He's trying to eliminate him, but he should just kill the knights. Oh god, he has no wood. This is the wood line remaining, and now orange comes with villagers, and I think he's gonna keep dropping. And oh la la, as usual, this is always the same. As you're about to kill someone, someone else attacks you. And uh, he's not only getting attacked, he is letting, he's getting like, dropped with military and ships at the same time and his ships are way too late he does not have production to defend this by the way he's got five stables and that's it he's got no archer ranges no siege workshops he's got nothing nothing palace guards are in yeah blue is dead blue is dead But so might be orange, actually. And no one's still in the middle, by the way. That's crazy. That's fucking nuts that nobody even attempted. No one dropped the scout. Look at this. Look at the vision. Look at the vision of the players. Ready? Only green. No one's fucking attempted. Purple resource count? There you go. I mean, purple's gonna get this gold. Purple got resources from yellow. And again, anyone can get the middle stuff too. This landmark is gonna go down for sure. Purple's now killing orange, kick W. The knights are coming in to try to snipe bombards. He kills one, but... That's pretty rough. Pretty, pretty rough, boys. Keep goes down. And Blue is still attacking Orange just like a last fuck you. They're both right clicked on the House of Wisdom. Okay, he sees the gold. Okay, so Orange is about to lose everything on the mainland. And he has no gold, by the way. Kek W. He's got, four, he's got 500 gold. Blue is out. There's three relics here. Purple, you definitely get these relics, by the way. <clears throat> um, so he was setting himself up for a wonder, and he would have probably made it if he didn't get attacked by pink. But also, the middle, man. I wonder if anyone is going to go to the middle for the rest of the game. Restos. He's coming in. Check pink. So this is the orange resources. These are the pink resources. So pink. Pink can go wonder, by the way. He can he can buy stone with gold at the Golden Gate. Purple. He's got a shit ton of resources, but not quite for a wonder. 
Not quite. And no one is trading except Blue. Like, Blue was the only guy that was trading. Since then, no one's uh, really attempted. I guess Green, too. That was kicked out of the trade. And Orange is getting dented in on this side. It ain't looking good. 40 idols for Pink? Pink, you gotta, you gotta sort that shit, brother. You gotta sort that shit immediately. Lancer, a lot of resources, but he's got no production. And now Purple is after his ass, too. Purple's just like mowing them down one after another when they have no arms. Is the guild hall one that lets you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the more resources you have in guild hall, the more you get, but it caps out at a certain point. I think after like two or three k, you stop getting like increase uh, expansion from that on out. It just kind of stays. The boar gets in the fight. God damn. Okay, orange cleans up on land. And then you and then he's like, oh shit, that's really good. I finally defend it. And then palace guards. Palace guards land. And he is getting absolutely Shrek. Orange seems dead. Ah uh, yeah. I mean he's trying to get rid of this. Which is like, I mean, okay, even if he gets rid of that. The next massive drop is just gonna dent him in. Not to mention, Valentor already has shit building inside his base. So, that's gonna be pretty rough. The only saving grace for him, I guess, is that he has uh, Red Palace here. So that he can potentially stay alive, but he ain't looking good. It is not looking good right now. This is gonna go down. Lancer 100 supply. Mr. Jace 170. And we got Valentor with 200 pumping balloons right now. And this might be the first FFA from the, you know, gold, platinum, diamond that might not end with a wonder victory. It might end with a, with a gameplay victory. Very aggressive. He's made a keep here so you can chop the wood. And now he's gonna come in with the knights to try kill the keep, but oh god, those are feudal horsemen. He's got 5k gold in the bank. Is he actually gonna have... He actually will have enough for a wonder. But if he makes a wonder, like, he needs to kind of defend it, you know? And I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible. That's assuming he doesn't die, like, now. He could make a wonder, but what then? Because right now, he is definitely dying. His best bet is to have like a uh, pink and purple fighting and then he builds a wonder and builds like siege or something. Because he's kind of dead. Fetal horsemen coming out against Imperial Palace Guards and Spearmen. Never a good look. But he does have a camo. I was gonna say he does have a keep, but does he though? Yo! Here we go, boys. We've done it. Yo, Pink's coming in. Look at this. Pink's coming in. He's like, oh, shit. He's like, shit. Someone's got a base. I gotta transfer my army here. He's like, yo, I gotta make a keep to protect myself, you know, against, uh, you know, like other players. And then he's like, huh? Dude, he's gonna be like, wait, is this free the whole time? 
Look at him, he's making military buildings because he thinks he's gonna be fighting. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yo, I gotta make some strategy to secure location. He literally doesn't know. <laughs> like he's making towers. Tower defense a little bit. And they're about to start fighting. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Orange, not looking good. What is these resources? Dude, that guild hole is fat. 7.3k. Wait, if it gets destroyed, do you get resources or do you have to manually pull out? I guess we're about to find out. Okay, he, he got him. Last second, he pulled out the gold. Dude, he should make a wonder and then just die. Just make a wonder, he's got barely enough, and then just die. The funny thing is, if Orange actually went to the middle with all his workers, he could have a really good income, because he's got like 50, 60 villagers. If he went here, he could have gotten enough resources to actually make a wonder and defend it. 63 supply. Oh, he's still got villagers on the main line. He's chopping. Okay, good for him. Where's Pink's uh, transports? Oh, yo, Pink's trying to make a move over here. His army is here. Ah, no. Oh. Red Palace. Oh, but he has more. Orange. F. Yo, build a wonder, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, dude. I mean... He's dead anyway. Might as well. Dude, wall it off. Dude, wall it off with a... Uh, what's it called? But wait, wait, he's gonna lose... <laughs> he's gonna lose Red Palace. Guys, he's gonna... Dude, he... Look at this. Yo, if I just... Yo, I'm making siege workshops. Bro, I'm... I'm making keeps. Yo, keep here. Boom, I'm gonna make some springles. Yo, I got some gold cooking. You know, I can do it for sure. Like, I'm, I, you know, I'm gonna defend there and... and Yo, Pink doesn't give a fuck, man. Look at Pink. Yo, Pink's like... Yo, chill, bro. What the fuck? Three bombards have landed. Uh. Uh. Yo, so anyway, guys. Like, I'm building keeps over here. You know what I mean? I got wonder. Um, so anyway, two remain. Almost. Wonder doesn't count as landmark. No, it does not. That's why when someone makes a wonder, you can just landmark snipe them. And here we go, a one on one! Which is something not only we didn't see in Archipelago, but we actually don't see too often in uh, FFAs in general. Let's check the resources between these two guys. 20 set. This is the, the uh, Rus. This is the Chinese. Chinese actually lower resource count. The Ming Dynasty begins. Ming Li. Ming Li Dynasty is activated. And as as cool as what Purple has been doing is, he has no gold income, and he didn't even take relics. By the way, 
he, there's three relics here. He never took them. And now he's steering. No trading. He's never attempted to trade. He's just been banging people left and right. This guy hangs out with the hottest girls and bangs the hottest dudes. And now... It ain't looking too hot for him. Look at the bow chats. 1.1k health. God damn, he's blasting his ass. Damn, dude, he evaporated him. <laughs> you know what Rus needs? Like 30 demo ships. He needs like 30 demo ships from different angles. <sighs> that was a quick That was a quick uh, landing right there You made him pack up real fast He is out of there And right now <laughs> Mr. Jace with 70 supply. Bro, just buy stone. Wait, he used... Wait, he used the tickets or something. Just buy stone, make a wonder. Do you know how hard it is to break a wonder on an island map in a one versus one situation? Watching it from God view, I could have come back. Yeah, for sure, bro. Well, if you went to the middle, by the way, you could have. Like, let me just... Let me just keep going on about the middle there are six big golds and two small stones and it's been mined 1.7k that's it why not just counter with a sacred side well you could right if you make a wonder but also if you make a wonder all you got to do is hold a sacred side for five minutes aka not let the opponent cap it and then you win and uh, I think Mr. Jace is cooking right now. I mean, what do you make? I think you just have to make... Because this army is not an army you're just going to remake, right? Okay, he's making trade ships now. He's going to trade all the way there. But... I think you gotta go for billion trade ship or demo ships surround this and just munch it down i think that's the only way like you need way more demo ships way more because bow chats are really good but they're really expensive and uh they're very like look at this if one lands gonna do so much fucking damage he's kind of getting step stuck right now up 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 play this see that play this see what i mean like imagine if you have 30 demos doing that he is trading right now his fleet gets demolished but he is still capped out Mr. Jace, not so much. He's got an archer in this. That archer's been sitting there whole game, chilling. He's making a keep to prevent the trade. Okay. He's pushing in. The sprinklers are still doing work. He's making rams. He's probably gonna ram the Spiskaya. Is he cooking something here? No. Well, he did manage to remake our chance. 
and he gets mowed down once he wins. Okay, he's probably selling food, I'm assuming. For gold. Because he just used up more tickets. And the rams are coming. Does he have the uh, ram upgrade? He does. He's got every upgrade except uh, Tithe Barns. Because he doesn't take relics. He don't need no relics, brother. And, uh, I mean, this doesn't look good for Rus. Purple's trading. Rus never traded. And I think that uh, with the trade coming in and pink running out of wood, he has wood here, but it didn't never chop. So the sky is gonna go down. Boop, 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 boop. And with that, probably all the landmarks over here. And we might see, like I said, an incredible archipelago if they win without a wonder. The ships are trading again. There is a keep. He's making some towers or trying to. How many traders are there? Eight? Really? Yeah, I thought that's way more, but I guess eight traders. He destroyed a keep here, so he could land on that side. He's not producing anything here, though. The pink and purple for observing does not help. Guys, next time if you're gonna be winning or losing the games, make sure you're not pink and purple things. Or that's gonna be a purple. <laughs> he gets the key and uh, it's looking pretty, pretty bad. He needs a, he's coming with a transfer chip. There's some bow chads on this side. They're destroying the docks. There's like five, six docks remaining from King. He's getting pushed back once again. The army is coming in hot. Where's my game dying? It's like using FPS. Maybe it's because all the water. Because water can cause performance issues. <laughs> um, which civ has the best army in water? I mean, China, but it's like. <laughs> China has the best army on land, too, but they don't really win. Considering how strong the Chinese army is, they don't have, they don't represent that in win rates, you know. So it's kind of the same thing on water. I think China is, or China does have like the best army, if you go army for army, but a lot of the other civs have different advantages, right? Like if an HRE player did this with the units what China is doing, HRE player would mow down China. Because the H3 men at arms are way stronger, right? And then you can just use demo ships for bow chats. So. Yeah. China should be banned on water. I disagree. It's not. I don't think it's, it's that. Like, going wonder with China is pretty hard. Tote, tote, come. Tote, we're about to have a GG. Wait, Tote. And just like that, oh, he's moving across, but... He's gonna be tapping out. GG Dog arrives in just in time. GG Dog, come say hi to everyone. Say GG Dog, GG Dog. I know. I know. She's like, 
So I took a nap today and uh, and now I'm tired and I was wondering if we we're gonna play today again. I'm gonna take you outside in a second because Just daddy is gonna finish go. soon. And then we will go on our adventure. He's the winner of this. Valentor did get the W. Which means what does he get in uh, real life? Let's check the resources. He gets one billion beastie points for the upcoming uh, beast coin. <laughs> um, see, one billion beast coins are worth nothing. If you Thank have, you. if you have the right, um, if you have a an FFA championship with every league's person like coming together, like let's say all the gold, two golds, two plats, two diamonds, and two conquerors all coming together, doing the FFA together, the winner gets a coaching session. High stakes, no. high rewards. Yeah. No. Yeah. He didn't have the most resources. He did dent in the most players. He did have the most skills and the most destroyed buildings. I mean, what can I say? What can I say? GG's, well played. Thank you everyone for playing. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the uh, the FFA. The next one we are doing is going to be... Oh my god, what is happening? It's because it's because we were in the water map. It's like lagging as shit right now. The next one we're doing is going to be the Conquer FFA. And after that, we're going to be picking a new map, which we might do a 2 versus 2 versus 2 versus 2. We'll see. To mix it up a little bit. YouTube gamers, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.